Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, it is I am the one and only, Luigi here, and I am back for the likes of the Maxi Toys videos, as you probably expect at this point in time. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for some more Let's Play of Luigi's Mansion for the Nintendo GameCube slash Nintendo 3DS as a remake. Mind you, we are still playing for the GameCube version, while we still continue playing through the Hidden Mansion mode playthrough. So, because of that, specifically the PAL version of this particular mode, so, last time, we've essentially did manage to able to conclude everything for the sake of the forms of Area 3 by simply able to actually obtain not only two individual boos, but 15 more thanks to the forms of taking down boo losses, except the noticeable difference has been is that we can able to actually take on uh, boo losses the hard way, mainly because of the forms of, uh, you know, just able to actually have a ride on uh, Portugal's 3000, and let me tell you, it is really dang difficult, way more harder than the forms of how it does it on the normal mansion playthrough, just because, obviously in a normal mansion playthrough, you can just simply walk on foot, whilst in the forms of in a PAL version of the hidden mansion mode playthrough, basically though, we're able to actually catch a ride on uh, Portugal's 3000, while I was trying to aim to try to able to keep on freezing up certain individual boos so yeah that's definitely a lot harder than it looks and uh in addition to that we also did manage to able to got started with the forms of area 4 by experiencing by the forms of the blackouts and in fact no matter what though we actually did the actual blackout parts a lot more easier this time around thanks to the forms of one of those elements that we somehow used specifically the fire elements so just in case we can able to actually take no too much damage or something relates to that so in addition to that of course is about the fact that we did somehow how obtained uh some more speedy spirits which as a result we should be able to actually get ourselves some even more blue diamonds and pretty much everything else you might as well able to encounter for so because of that and also we did somehow once again took down Uncle Grimly, so because of that though, that potentially speaking though, at least we got the entire light back up again. So even then though, that's what I can really say about that. So today, for this video is about the fact that we're gonna be able to continue exploring for Area 4, and look at that. I somehow got my black pearl once again, or the big pearl. I keep on thinking about the forms of like I was watching uh uh Pirates of the Caribbean for some reason. But anyway. So yeah, once again, we've got ourselves the big pearl for the sake of the forms to try to take on the clockwork soldiers, which I was very, very surprised about the fact that I still managed to able to did this on the first attempt for able to actually get the gold frame on that particular run. Although, mind you, because of how the fact that, like I mentioned about this before, the suction upgrades for the sake of the forms of the Portugal 3000 has actually got upgraded. So yeah, everything else will be come to expect. So... And I believe something tells me there's going to be another boo around here somewhere. And I believe this is one of those boos is actually going to get a lot more difficult to obtain. Not only because of its short health, but it's also about the fact that they'll try to act out a lot faster than I thought it was. So, but then again, uh, we'll try to tackle for those later because we've now gone back onto the actual roof. So, hopefully we should be able to actually take down those ghosts immediately. So, hopefully though... What the heck? What's up with that music? I almost assume about the fact that we can able to hear that particular normal battle theme music or something, but apparently we just somehow hear a boss theme, uh, kind of like suction music for a second ago, which just seems kind of weird. And a good thing we did somehow manage to able to save our fire element with us, because now we stumbled across into those ice element ghosts, so... Exponentially speaking though, it's about the fact that, well, everything else will be come to expect, so... So yeah, a few things I want to explain for this point today is that, well, today's day is of course the 30th of October today, in some cases in 2023 today. Only one more day to go for this point, folks, especially for the sake of the forms to try to celebrate the Halloween day. So because of that, I'm sure kids out there will be expected able to do some trick-or-treating for tomorrow, which I'm sure I'll save that particular topic until for later. And I'm sure enough though is about the fact that I'm pretty sure that Twilight Sparkle and the offer did somehow manage to able to once again dress up as different costumes depending on these specific themes of Halloween. So, and I think that could be also applies for Mario, Toad, and Peach, and the rest of the gang. So, we can pretty much expect the fact that we can able to actually get certain, uh, well, I don't know about you, because relatively speaking, I never actually eat too much candy as much as the next guy, but relatively speaking, though, it's about the fact that I just want to able to take care of my teeth as to be expected, so... Anyways though, 
So, there's also another thing I want to discuss upon this as well, is that, potentially speaking though, there's one little thing I honestly forgot to mention about, ever since Injuni forms have been yesterday's video, is that, apparently though, for what I've read about the forms of the third Paddington film, specifically Paddington in Peru, as what is known for this point, is that, potentially speaking though, is that the 2025 release date is actually the US release date, so, and the ones I was going to be thinking about is that in 2024's case, that will be the UK's release date for it. So because of that, yeah, uh, Paddington in Peru is going to be releasing on 2024 on the 8th of November. So that's roughly about a month before um, Sonic the Hedgehog 3. So because of that, yeah, it seems pretty cool though, especially concerning for the fact that despite the fact that we still haven't got any confirmation about the forms about the fact that with all these actors in mind, especially because like we said this before, there's a lot of actor strike recently. So because of that, hopefully we'll find out some more details about that particular film coming up for the sake of the forms of in the future times. But either way though, let's just go ahead and uh, climb onto this particular right chimney as opposed to the left chimney as compared to the forms of how it does it on the uh the first playthrough and that should pretty much leads us to the armory room if i recall correctly which truth be told that'll be kind of seems to be the case so but uh before we continue things on though we need to take care of the forms of the sealed room so i'm not exactly sure if i was able to come across into that particular uh, gold mice from that particular point, even though that despite we've only got one more gold mice left, until so we basically um, accomplished everything for the likes of obtaining a uh, certain amount of those blue diamonds as far as I'm concerned, but either way, though, we shall see, so, okay, so it doesn't pop up yet, but, uh, but, relatively speaking though, we can able to find the final speedy spirit in the entire game, just in that chest in here, so, Hopefully, we should be able to obtain him like so. And, wow, that's a lot of slowdown at some point. But, either way, regardless of such though, we did somehow caught that particular Speedy Spirit, so that's all that really matters. So, yeah, we found every single Speedy Spirit in both playthroughs, potentially. So, not bad, not bad at all. Especially, like I said before, I'm pretty much more accustomed to able to actually finding certain Speedy Spirits a lot more. Just because I pretty much know the specific placements inside out, so... But anyways, let's walk back for the time being, because since despite the gold mice does not appear so far, so hopefully we should be able to actually come across into that if we do get the chance, because obviously, like I said before, sometimes that obtaining golden mice is a bit luck-based at points, so sometimes, though, you never know if you're most able to get a 99% chance for the sake of the forms of come across into one from the very get-go, or maybe you are able to keep on revisiting that, uh, the sealed room quite a lot of times, so... Also, I just realized something is about the fact that there's another difference between the forms of the NTSC version of the Hidden Mansion playthrough compared to the forms of the Nepal version is that what I've noticed is that certain dark rooms are actually a lot darker than the forms of how it does it on the normal um, mansion playthrough. For what I've noticed anyway, mind you, but no matter what though, is about the fact I've noticed that particular point's worth noting for, especially concerning for the fact that, well, usually for the sake of time, about the fact that it'll make things a little bit more harder to see, for the sake of the forms of some uh, lighter parts throughout, but even then, no, I think that's as far as I can think about this, I guess, so... Anyway, so now we've actually got the ice element with us, so just in case we can able to actually stumble across into, you know what I'm saying, with the forms of the water element ghosts, that way we can able to now taken care of, ever since the journey forms have been, uh, let's just say in the, uh, the safari room, so, yeah, we'll be on to the forms of the armory room later, because obviously we need to take care of the, uh, the telephone room first, so... I'm not exactly sure if it's possible for me to be able to actually completely done everything for Area 4 for this video, but definitely the next video for sure, so... Oh, jeez. Oh yeah, I just realized about the fact that every once in a while, we can now able to actually stumble across into those yellow ghosts that in journey forms of certain encounters, so... That's quite interesting, all things, all things considered, especially concerning for the fact that the only time you do come across into those ghosts was journey forms of certain hallways, so... Usually for the sake of the forms of, uh, the, 
area 2 and area 3 and vice versa. So yeah, it seems pretty interesting in terms of the forms of the ghost selection for certain encounters for certain rooms. So anyways, let's get rid of... Okay, I got to... Ah! Okay. Oh, jeez, okay. And in fact, I just keep on missing all of a sudden. But if I decide, decide able to use the ice element, so that way we should be able to get rid of these yellow ghosts for good. And hopefully, we should be all done. So, there we go. So, of course, we can able to open up the green treasure chest here. And, of course, get some more coins, more money notes. And especially notes support for gold bars as well, so... Oh yeah, something it's worth noting for is that on the 3DS version is that you can able to actually access to a co-op thing by either the forms of the uh, 3DS download play. And on top of that, if uh, one of uh, someone who able to actually got another copy of Luigi's Mansion on the 3DS, well, basically they can able to actually do co-op thing in the entire game itself. Well, what happens was though is that oh, we actually stumbled across into Boomerang once again. And I'm sure we are able to actually... Okay, he's gone back into the uh, uh, clockwork room. So hopefully we are able to get the better chance for catching him this time around though. As opposed to just didn't get a single hit on him. Ever since the journey forms have been the, uh, the first playthrough. So, and he's now gone into a hallway. So, but before we uh, catch up with the forms of Boomerang. Let's see what this another boo obtains. So, if I can just activate a clock. Yeah, 50 health, but he's ridiculously fast. Jeez. No wonder why those boos are going to be quite tough to catch. But at least we deal some bit of damage, but not by much. But uh, at least, thankfully, we can able to actually access to uh, other rooms during any future points worth noting for. Also, I just realized is that uh, we somehow come across into Burrang, uh Boo familiar. So, yeah, I guess it's that. So now here we are back in the uh, armory room once again, and uh, hopefully, oh nice, a gold bar indeed. So, anyways though, uh, with the multiplayer function, for the sake of the forms of Luigi's Mansion on the 3DS, is that if you do um, have uh, two copies, or specifically if two of those players managed to able to obtain a copy of... Uh, Luigi's Mansion on the 3DS is that basically they can able to experience co-op aspect together while they working together by simply able to go through the entire mansion together. Likely, depending on the forms of what mode you go into, like the regular mansion playthrough or uh, the hidden mansion playthrough, but as a result, you should be able to be alright and such. But there's one little problem we have with the journey forms of multiplayer aspect. The frame rate is really, really poor. Like, so much to the point about the fact that the actual entire uh, frame rate is actually going to get uh, lower and lower every single time during the course of certain encounters, and especially noticeable during the forms of. I think it's most notably whenever you come across into catching certain ghosts. So, I'm guessing because, gee, no wonder why, that I just don't understand why that the 3DS remake exists. Like, I almost assume they were trying to able to port. Uh, Luigi's Mansion on the Nintendo Switch instead to make things a little bit more interesting But I just have no idea the 3ds version exists So or maybe it's probably because about the fact that well relatively speaking though They just want to able to do the last selections of games for the 3ds before they end off the 3ds's lifespan or something relates to that so maybe that's probably seems to be the case or something so anyways, um I think, truth be told for this point, guys, I don't think it's possible for me and April to actually get that last gold mice. I mean, relatively speaking, though, I think I think I might as well be alright for now, for the sake of the forms of uh, got enough uh, money as it is. Although, sure, it's not the most perfect run ever, especially concerning after the events of those three boss encounters formed likely on Area 1, Area 2, and Area 3. That's uh, basically though we did somehow got hit a lot. So that's a result so far that we've only come across into one uh, silver frame so far. And as far as I'm concerned, we've only come across into two uh, bronze frames so far. So because of that, during the course of this run anyway. So, but at least it's not too bad because like I said before, thankfully we still managed to get ourselves a glorious gold frame of uh, boo losses after all. So... Everything else will be pretty much encountered for, so... 
Anyways, let's go ahead and suck this little uh, thing up and open up this chest and oh jeez. At least as far as I'm aware, there are so many pink punchers. Gee, no wonder why it's going to get a little bit aggressively difficult, but thankfully we can able to utilize the ice element so we can freeze them up. And, well, suffice to say, they're all gone. And there goes the final gold mice that I sort of didn't cash, but that's okay. Because obviously, nothing can be perfect though, because sure enough though, I think I've actually got enough for certain cash and certain gems that I've got. So that way, I can exponentially try to get, well, the A rank. So, even though it's kind of a bummer though, that I somehow missed out on uh, uh, quite a few... Uh, diamonds as far as I'm concerned but uh, regards to such though still I'm gonna be perfectly okay with that so anyway so let's walk back to the beginning and because of that we can now able to take care of the forms of some more optional ghosts here and there likely also uh Supi and especially noticeable for Jarvis as well so because of that hopefully we'll take care of those just to ensure for the fact that we're able to actually guarantee to get the next uh blue diamonds that we can able to obtain so but anywho though um there's also another thing i want to address something about this as well is that if you don't have a copy of luigi's mansion on the 3ds if you try to play multiplayer uh there was actually a 3ds download play you can able to actually access to and basically you can able to actually tackle through boss rushes together so because of that you can able to actually take on certain portrait ghost uh boss rematch encounters so that'll be uh checked out there however like i said before not only the frame rate is actually a lot worse than any forms of how it does it was to be expect but for what i've heard anyway is that the load times on the actual download play is significantly stingy. Like, as far as I'm concerned, uh, for what I've heard anyway, it actually took you for about 46 seconds in order to able to jump right in for the 3DS download play mode for the sake of the forms of the 3DS version of Luigi's Mansion. So because of that, yeah, it's even worse than the forms of Sonic 06 loading times and especially noticeable from any other bad load times for certain games like, uh... Let's just say during the forms of Mario Party 10 or uh, certain other games for that matter. But regardless of such though, it is very, very uh, disappointing in regards of the forms of some bad load times in general. So, but at least regards there's another gold bar after watering that specific plant. And uh, before we uh, continue on, we need to find that specific boo first. So... And I think we've only got five more boosts to go until we're able to actually access to the final area in the game. Specifically in this version of the actual Hidden Mansion playthrough, so... Ah, oh, he just gone into another hallway, so... But that's okay, though, because hopefully, though, he'll just go back and forth between the sitting room and the hallway. So that's all he really does, so... But, uh, yeah, not much, ex not much else explanations for the sake of time. I mean, relatively speaking, though, we're actually getting very, very close uh, towards the end of the entire Luigi's Mansion as a game itself. I mean, afterwards, though, we can pretty much guarantee to say this right now, the next Luigi's Mansion game we're about to tackle through next is obviously Luigi's Mansion 2 for the 3DS slash Nintendo Switch. Mind you, we're going to be playing the Switch version just because of quality standpoints. And second, I feel like the controls might look a bit more uh, familiar or something relates to that. Well, I don't know about you because it's been about quite a few months ago since I actually have last played Luigi's Mansion 2 for the 3DS. Although, despite the fact that I do need to get back into the 3DS version at some point, before the actual online service is about to shut down, for the sake of the forms of scare scraper mode. So, yeah, that's a little bit more upsetting for that regard. Especially that we've only just got about... Uh, approximately speaking, though, I believe we've only just got about... Uh, almost six months left until the online service is about to shut down for both the Wii U and 3DS. So, yeah, it's gonna be pretty, uh, emotional for the sake of the forms of not only online players for, for those who are the massive Nintendo fanatic, but it's also with, uh, Mario Maker in mind that, uh, yeah, it's gonna be pretty, um, pretty bleak at this point, so... Anyway, so let's go ahead and take care of the forms of Sue P. And sure enough, we were able to actually guarantee to get ourselves a nice, glorious gold frame. In addition to the forms of a big pearl, as we somehow obtained. So, 
Huzzah and awesome at the same time. So because of that, so yeah, let's go ahead and obtain these pearls. And sure enough, whenever we leave the room, obviously it'll just go uh, right side up. So that way we can now able to open up that green chest. So... And I think, fundamentally speaking, though, is about the fact that the final green chest we were able to actually come across into was after trying to take care of the forms of jar first, so... And I think, relatively speaking, though, is about the fact that despite I missed out one of those, uh, blue diamonds, as you probably would expect, thanks to the forms of that particular random, uh, gold mice to be pop up during the forms of the sealed room, but like I said before, it really doesn't, it really doesn't matter to me, so... Anyway, we got ourselves another Sapphire, so we should be alright, so... Anyway, I suppose the last thing I want to mention about the forms of... Oh, jeez, that picture just somehow summons the bomb. But anyway, there's another boo right here, so hopefully we should be able to catch him as much as we do for the singular room, because it's been a very long while since we've done this process, so there we go. Alrighty, so we've gone up to, like, um... Well, I'm not exactly sure how many boos we've got so far. Or oh, actually, kind of think about it, we actually now on to like... Well, I don't know about you, because it's been about quite a few hours ago since I actually have last played this. So, anyway though, uh, there's also a last thing I want to discuss upon, is that... What I've noticed anyway, is that Sonic Superstars actually has a debug mode. So because of that, well, unfortunately though, unlike any forms of how it does it on, uh, let's just say, in Sonic Mania, that you can able to do all sorts of crazy stuff here and there. Likely also, you can able to actually figure out the soundtrack or the sound test uh, codes, so you can able to actually access the debug mode for the likes of the forms of what if you try to fiddle around with certain, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying, with uh, objects and all that stuff. But uh, it's just that, for Sonic Superstar style, unfortunately though, the menu itself looks a bit boring, to be honest. Like, I know for a fact that it does require the specific uh, button combination, likely also, depending on what version of the game you're playing. Like, I've, if I recall correctly, the, play, uh, the Xbox version, it's likely, uh, it did say, XXYYXXXX. And, as far as I'm aware, unlike the PlayStation 4 version, or PlayStation 5 versions, it'll be like, uh, square square, triangle triangle, and square 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 square. So, yeah, that's about it. And finally, for the Nintendo Switch though, it will be YYXXYYYY, because it's almost like a com complete opposite of, uh, the Xbox controllers. So, yeah, that's what I was thinking about it anyway. But if you do the right combination, then you should be able to actually access to not only the level select screen, but also with the sound test. And unfortunately, though, that's about it. So, yeah, it's kind of a um, missed opportunity, especially concerning for the fact that although it's kind of nice to be able to bring back, you know, the actual uh, secret button combination, so you can be able to actually access to secret menus and all that stuff. But ultimately, though, the visual presentation just feels a bit boring, to be honest, because it's just a simplistic uh, background, and that's all there is to really think about it. So, anyway, though, so we've met again with uh, Jarvis once again, and still we need to hit him for about seven times, and then once you've done so already, then you should be able to actually take him on. So because of that, yeah, we can now able to actually just, well, take him on, basically. So, uh, yeah, not much explanations for the sake of time. So, hopefully, we should be able to actually guarantee to get ourselves a big pearl. And, yeah, I somehow messed it up. So, that's okay, though, because we technically already got the, uh, the gold frame for, uh, job first. So, but I know for some, for one thing, we've only got one gold frame, uh, portrait ghost left, which is, of course... It wasn't until when it gets too late to run, though, that we will come across into that. So, and here we go. Here's our, well, final uh, blue diamond in the entire playthrough. Besides, you know, we're missing one, which appears to be with that gold mice. But that's okay, because I'll be going to be perfectly fine for the sake of the forms of 29 uh, blue diamonds. Because I think that'll be enough for able to actually reach uh, rank A. So... That should be all pretty swell, I might add, so... Anyway, so, and yeah, apologize for that particular weird, uh, croaked up voice familiar with guy. Well, that's just mainly because, I think that's as far as I can usually decide able to talk about, uh, during the course of the actual, like, 
uh, some news and all that stuff to mention about. Although, sure enough, though, is about the fact that I'm still pretty much impatient for the sake of the forms of the fact that when is the, uh, well, Wave 6 of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe will be a thing because obviously I'm still pretty much sick of playing uh, Mario Kart Tour these days because I don't know about you, despite with the forms of reused content, they obviously still managed to be able to cooperate with it. But it's also about the fact that I just, I don't know about you, that this game is cut, that, that game, Mario Kart Tour, to me, it just feels dull, and I did not enjoy it anymore, so because of that, yeah, that's what I mean about the fact that despite I've almost got every single content, like the also for characters and all that stuff, but I don't know about you, I just totally do not get it about the fact that, well, I just got no words to say, so, oh, you kidding me? Also, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, the weather itself has actually gone pretty bad once again. Like, it's all gloomy and raining, and that's all there is to really think about it. I mean, I get it because it's just the time of the year again, basically. So, but at the very least, we did somehow guide the uh, the Burrank Boo right onto the forms of the Clockwork Room. So, that we should be all, all right and such when it comes to likely catching him, so... And oh boy, whenever he gets appointed to any forms within a basement floor, oh man, there's going to be a lot of, like, backtracking between multitude of rooms and... Oh! Ah! So close to able to finish him off! And I believe he was down by, uh, five health left, so... Oh boy, this might take a while, folks. This might take a while, so... And that's because of how the reason why that uh, it's been a very long while since we actually gone back into this. As I've already addressed that. Ever since the journey forms of a oh, son of a ah, so close to able to actually get him. I can't really tell how many uh, health he's got left. Oh man, this is crazy. Is this one one health left? But we've got him anyway. So. Oh man, mamma mia, mamma mia indeed. I mean, regardless, we've finally taken care of that particular boo for now, so... Anyway, so, I suppose no matter what though, I still need to be able to try to get uh, my fire element, so... Because, relatively speaking now, I've noticed that one of those ghosts in particular was all in ice, so... Yeah, I definitely need to try to able to sort this out. So, but anyway, uh, before we uh, continue things on here, let me just check on this particular spot according to the forms of that Boo Radar to somehow manage to able to go red for a second ago. But sometimes, though, it just managed to be able to go, like, random places that it wants to go to. Okay, there we go. At least we did found another Boo right here. So, uh, oh, seriously, I just lost so many coins out of that whenever I get hit. But anyway, but luckily though, we haven't got that long now when it comes to able to actually catching certain amount of boos, and especially this might actually helps me for a bit, because obviously this boo in particular decides to go back and forth between the forms of this particular room, or, uh, ah, is now going to the actual hallway. Okay, I honestly take that back, so, oh, me, okay. Alright, he's only got 42 health left, or somewhat less now, so he's probably going to go back onto that uh, particular room as we've already fight against with uh, Jarfers. Unfortunately, though, I think we will get ourselves the uh, the silver frame of uh, Jarfers, but that's okay, because we still got the, uh, the gold frame, of course, so... Anyway, so now we're done with that, and it looks like we only got, I would say, one more boot left until we're able to actually access to the final area in the game because if you stuck with uh, 44 boos up to this point and if you think you're almost going to be making your way to the forms of the final area in the game King Boo will show up and basically though it just sends you back all the way to the start so that's the only thing that really happens if you don't catch enough boos so that's something worth noting for so Anyways, though, so hopefully I should be able to actually just go ahead and grab some more um, hearts. So, and that should bring us back to 100. So, that should be all good to go. So, 
Anyway, so let's go ahead and continue things on here. So, uh, again, a worth originally trying to able to actually explain something relates to the forms of, uh, The Simpsons tree the Treehouse of Horror episodes, but then again, it's probably best for me to able to save that particular topic until tomorrow's finale, because let me tell you something, is that by that time when it gets to the point when if we, uh, almost gone through, um, certain rooms and stuff like that, exponentially we can able to actually finish up the game. So, uh... Because I know for a fact that this game is actually super duper short, unless if you really want to get out of your way, to able to actually do two playthroughs, so you can able to actually guarantee to get yourselves a glorious, um, high A rank for that matter, so, uh, anyway though, so let's just go, go back upstairs, so... But, uh, yeah, that's as far as I can usually decide to able to discuss upon things, especially that I've already mentioned about the fact that there was actually technically a debug menu that you can able to actually access to for the likes of Sonic Superstars, which we will, uh, get into that point until next year, like we said this before, because sure enough, Sonic is still about to be able to continue processing for doing, you know, Sonic Frontiers, as we expected, so... Anyways, though, so we, uh, basically just get rid of that yellow ghost, indeed, so... Yeah, good thing we did somehow dodge that particular bomb explosion, because otherwise, that would make things a little bit more nerve-wracking experience, so... Alright, here we go, so now we can able to burn this particular element ghost here, so... And now we can able to actually just, well, do everything for the likes of the armory room. So, even though technically we've already somehow managed able to obtain certain, uh, uh, coins alongside with the forms of certain money notes in certain chests, so... Alright. There we go. That should be alright. But, uh, we're not exactly done with this yet because there are still some more ghosts to catch, so... But anywho, though, um... Yeah, that's what I can really say about it. Also, I don't know about you, but possibly during that time until tomorrow anyway, I figure I'm also able to actually go ahead and watch um, certain Halloween films just to give it a shot. To be more specifically though, although currently at the moment right now, aside from the fact that I've uh, basically just watched every single of those uh, Treehouse of Horror episodes uh, so far, during the course of The Simpsons right now, I'm actually in the middle of something where it comes to the forms of watching certain Halloween episodes for the likes of My Little Pony Friends Miss Magic right now, likely starting from uh, Lunar Eclipse all the way up to uh, any other episodes I could possibly think about on top of my head. Well, mind you about the fact that it's been a very long while since I actually have watched uh, Friendship is Magic because I'm still in uh, pretty much in a wait, um, waiting situation for the sake of the forms of what I've heard from Ray, the flying squirrel anyway, that uh, the sixth and, uh, well, chapter six on, uh, you know what I'm saying, with uh, Make Your Mark is going to be on its way, which we're still curious to check it out, but regardless of such, though, again, our expectations is nowhere near as high as I've hoped. So, anyways, let's go ahead and... No! Don't go out there! Because there was one more object we can able to actually investigate. There we go. So, I believe that's going to be the last ghost in the armory room, so... Oh wait, some more blue mouses around here. But exponentially, though, once the room is clear, then these mice, those blue mouses or blue mice, are now gone for good. So, and that key will pretty much lead us to the pipe room, back onto the forms of the basement floor. So, uh. But uh, before we take care of that, we need to go ahead and capture the last boo. So, at least specifically in terms of the progression, because, well, to be speaking of, we should be able to be good to go. Oh, jeez, 200 HP. But hopefully we'll try to catch him for good. Oh, jeez. I keep missing him. And he's gone into another room. That figures. Now, I'm pretty sure about the fact that we've only got six boos to go, so, yeah, it feels like we're getting pretty close here. I just get a horrible feeling about the fact that the more you're able to deal so much damage to this boo, I believe you'll just go into a different speed mode, at least as far as I'm concerned. 
But, uh, relatively speaking, I was about the fact that so far we're actually doing not too bad for uh, Area 4, at least as far as I'm concerned. So, anyways, so let's go into the, uh, the clockwork room again, and... Ah, oh, dang it! Wait! Oh, wait! I almost assumed he's gonna go out of bounds. But, uh, thank goodness he does it. And now he's going back onto the telephone room. Of course. Alright. Ah! Dang it. He's gone back in here again. I think, anyway. Although, it wasn't until when it gets to the point until when uh, Luigi's Mansion 2, that uh, usually Luigi's Mansion 2 is basically mission structured. So, because of that, though, it's just about the fact that hopefully, well, we'll save that particular topic until next year. So, I didn't... Come on. Oh, wow. Really? Oh, man. That was... Very bad luck indeed, but uh, hopefully we should be able to catch him for good. Oh, yeah. But uh, I always have to make sure for uh, just to double check on certain furnitures to be able to contain, you know what I'm saying, certain amount of money and all that stuff. But uh, ah, okay, he's gone back into the right room, so that's okay because obviously we've pretty much taken care of the majority of certain rooms in the third floor, so. And there we go, we've now got enough boost, so that way we can now able to actually access the final area. But first, we need to obtain a key first, so, specifically, the spade key, so... Anyway, so that pretty much takes care of it for this particular room, so now we can able to go, uh, backtrack. So, specifically, we need to go ahead and go back all the way to the beginning again, and now we can able to take care of the majority of the basement floor, so... Although, I'm also able to do only one more room for the time being, and that's what appears to be the pipe room, and that'll be about it, basically, for the sake of the forms of this recording session, so... Yeah, I just kind of believe that we're actually getting very close for this point, folks. We are definitely getting very close, so... Although, before I do that, I need to double-check. Yeah, there's no boo in here, so that figures. But uh, hopefully we should be able to actually catch the last five boos during the course of in the, uh, the majority of the basement floor. But I'm sure the final boo is obviously going to be on the artist studio. So because of that, well exponentially speaking, I was about the fact that he'll just go back and forth between the dark hallway. And as well as the forms of the artist studio, of course. Oh jeez, now we have to deal with the forms of those two explosive ghosts this time. So... Oh jeez, this is gonna get a little bit tricky around here, especially how cramped this room can be. And it is it doesn't even help with those stupid little green things just like able to swoop at us. At least in every sense in journey forms of not only the uh the courtyard, but it's also with the forms of certain other rooms as well, like Butler's room and all that stuff, but uh Hopefully, we should be able to actually just to complete this room no matter what, though, despite that I somehow got hit most of the time, so... But, uh, hopefully, though, that will be the case, I guess, anyway, so... Alright, so let's take care of him, and, well, there's still some more. Ah, dang it, I lost some of my coins! God, I hate these little strangular enemies because they just sometimes feel a bit annoying. But I will admit, though, the voices, whatever you do manage to able to try to suck them up, I will admit, though, they sound pretty hilarious, likely also for, well, if I was trying to able to freeze them, of course. And I think that basically takes care of it from them. Bingo! All right. Oh, wait. That was actually a lot trickier than I was expecting. But, uh, regardless of such, though, let's go and get this another boo, and he's almost down for good. Ah, oh, dang it. I think he's gone to another room, which I haven't exactly got into yet, so... Oh, man. You see what I mean about the fact that we have to go all the way back and forth between multitude of rooms during the course of in a basement floor? I mean, that's going to be a lot of backtracking scenarios from time to time, so... At least I can get that heart. Come on. Oh, okay. Oh, good grief. I'm really hoping I need to guide him into that pipe room, which I've already did done. 
because I seriously need able to catch some even more boosts so I can able to get uh, the second gold diamond. So there we go, 46, 46 boosts. So nicely done. Whew. Okay then. All right, let's just go ahead and turn off the water. And exponentially, we can able to get the next key. So. And I believe we've only got about four boos left. So. I believe what I was thinking about something is that I believe the uh, the next three boos is going to be at the majority of the basement floor. I'm pretty sure. So. Anyway, so while I'm at it though, let me just go ahead and. Uh, Unlock the uh, the next room, which appears to be the cold storage. So, just to ensure if there's any booze in here, which I don't think there is for now. So, yeah, we'll just go ahead and backtrack. So, just in case I need to save my game, because I think this is the way about the fact that we can get the final gold frame in this entire playthrough. So, because of that, hopefully for a better attempt this time. I'm hoping anyway. So. Because usually on the uh, the first time encountering uh, Sir Western, that god, we were so close to get a gold frame on, so... But uh, hopefully that'll be the case this time around for the sake of the forms of the Hidden, the hidden Mansion playthrough, so... At least I'm hoping so anyway, so... Anyway, so let's see what's in the here. We got some more health that we can able to obtain. So, just in case I don't want to get a game over. So, yeah, with that being said, though, I think we should probably end things at this point right here. So, join me next time for more of Let's Play of Luigi's Mansion for the Nintendo GameCube slash Nintendo 3DS as a remake. Is that we're able to actually finish up everything in Area 4 and the main um, game itself. So, I'll see you guys until tomorrow. Later, fellas.